Hurry up, write really fast. Happy Christmas! <laughs> right, so we did try and do a mince pie recipe, and then what happened? It went really well. Uh, Maddie went out for supplies and came back without the most crucial supply of all, which was the rolling pin. I like how you blame me <laughs> when the reality is we just totally forgot that we needed a rolling pin. Yeah. So that's out the window. We're going to do that tomorrow. So we're going to do the most likely to tag instead. I'm sorry about construction noise. Uh, there are builders who are leaving for home, so they're making loads of noise. Yeah, this is our everyday life. stuff off the roof into the skip. Yeah, so just ignore that. I don't actually have any particular questions, because I did Google most likely to questions, uh, like YouTube tag, but I don't think there's a general uh, oh, list of questions. I get it. I think that... Um, I just figured out what we're doing. Right oh, <laughs> um, I think that uh, people just ask their like followers to send them questions, or they just come up with their own, or whatever, but I've just got this list um, which is like 300 different questions. I, I figured it's best for us to take turns choosing a question off of this list. Mm -hmm. And then maybe throw in a couple of our own Christmassy themed ones. Um, so maybe we could both start with a Christmassy themed one. Okay. So basically yeah. the way it works is we both um, hold up whichever side we think and then we compare and you know, and is see it, whether we both get the same answer. What is, it? is it just a... You just say most, so for example, most likely to become a best-selling author. So you okay. put up at the screen, don't look, and then we both look and we see if we get the same answer and why. So how do I win? Okay, so you don't win. <laughs> well, you can win, we can count if you want. First one, I'm gonna do a Christmassy one. So most likely to... Um, one minute, 37 seconds later. Most likely to overeat at Christmas. <laughs> Okay, you can't look at the screen when you put it up because we can see the reflection. So we look at each other. Yeah, and hold up which side we think. <laughs> I feel like you can't really see this no. very well. Should we colour it in? Okay, so we've coloured in our little things. It's easier for you to see. You see that? So, yeah, you can see that. Okay. Right, so we both picked Maddie. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, that one. You eat lots. But I don't overeat. Who is more likely to fall asleep before midnight on New Year's Eve? Well, you're just picking ones that are gonna be me. <laughs> That's not hardly fair, is it? Okay, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> I, I am. Give another as we as we go. Along. I'm a sloth. I sleep all the time, don't I? And he takes pictures of me. I insert a couple annoying and embarrassing pictures he's taken me re recently sleeping. <laughs> likely to accidentally kill someone. Hmm. That's pretty morbid for a yeah. Christmas video. Okay. Right, three, two, one. <laughs> I'm really clumsy. You'll probably trip over tomorrow and knock the scaffolding over. <laughs> and kill a builder. Yeah. Oh, okay, you pick one. Most likely to be the first one to die in a zombie apocalypse. What, it's all the death ones? <laughs> Okay, three, two, one. Yay! You play just... those sorts of games constantly though, yeah. so you know how to deal with it. i probably still die very quickly. Okay. You'd be the one spreading the virus from the beginning. Most likely to cheat on a test. Mm. Three, two, one. Yeah. Finally. Alec, I'm not dishonest, I couldn't you do that. You always tell me about how like such a model student you were I at really school. was, I was too much of a goody two-shoes. I remember I got I caught. I could never. I got caught at school. Uh, I just copy and pasted someone's essay and changed it. Did changed, you? I changed a few things, but there was one weird phrase I think he, because I hadn't read it through, that my friend had put in, and the teacher noticed it and said, Oh no. Yeah. He was really good though. He said, Don't do it again. Don't let me catch you doing that again. Do you know, I think the only cheating I've done was I let a friend copy my essay, kind of like use it in that sense. Yeah. I didn't, I've never, I just couldn't ask him so to do So you're the Hermione, I'm the. The Harry and Ron. Yeah, so I can play with my hair. I'm gonna fix it and then you can edit this bit out. You're not going to, are you? Most likely to eat something off the ground. Oh, okay. Three, <laughs> two, one. Uh, Alex I... couldn't care less if it's on the ground, <laughs> if it's on the bottom of your shoe, he'll eat it. He Pretty used to, when I he was to... drinking alcohol at university, he would go, not even if you were drinking, if you'd like, 
completely sober, he would go I to the table next to our table if they'd left food and he'd take yeah. it and eat it. I forgot about this. The first year of university in halls, someone had gone to this brand new noodle bar that had opened. They'd got a box of noodles. Oh. And they looked like they tried like one mouthful and then put the whole thing in the bin. But it, it was like- took it out the bin. The bin was overflowing, so it wasn't in the bin. It was like placed on the bin. You still took it out the bin? There was no contamination. I took it out, I reheated it, and that was a free five pound this meal This is the first time I questioned my choice in being in a relationship with him. Yeah. I looked at him at that moment and I thought, wait, have I made, have I made a huge mistake? I'm, I'm good at saving money. I eat people's food. <laughs> Most likely to fart in a crowded elevator. <laughs> That's pretty hard. Are you kidding? Okay, three, two, one. Me, I'll never do that. You have done that. No, I have not. What do you mean? I have never done that. As if. I wouldn't dare. Alex farts constantly in public. Yeah. I'll fart in my own privacy of my own home, but I won't fart in public. You just, you fart, but they're not smelly, so no one knows. <laughs> Most likely to go to the bathroom and not wash their hands. <laughs> Three, two, one. The only Yay. reason, right, I always wash my hands. The only reason is because Alex loves washing his hands with soap and he's really like particular about it. Whereas I am not as fussy. I will happily just like, if there's no sink or whatever, I'm not like a clean freak in terms of like washing my yeah. hands. I'm not as particular as I used to be. No. Sometimes Maddie would just stroll out the toilet without Because, washing. right, I do wash my, you're making me look gross. I do <laughs> wash my hands, but sometimes when you go to the toilet, you literally don't touch anything. So you don't need to wash your hands. You touch the toilet handle. That's what you touch. I'm gonna get so many people telling me I'm really gross, <laughs> but only in the comfort of my own home because I clean my kitchen. I'm a clean like yeah, it's true. person. Clean I, I constantly am cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the kitchen. I keep my house clean. So I really don't, if I'm gone for a wee and I like, you know, <laughs> I don't always think Keep it's necessary to waste water. Hole. It's because I think it's wasteful of water and of soap. I'm always thinking about that. Like I don't even use the hand dryers in um, or paper in toilet public toilets because I don't like wasting electricity yeah. or paper. I don't use the hand dryers because they're always terrible. I never ever use the hand dryers because I've just always done that and mm. I just think over my lifetime I'm going to save a lot of energy doing that. Unless it's those Dyson ones where you go. Yeah, they're good. I do use those. <laughs> Right, everyone's gonna think I'm disgusting. Thumbs up if you think I'm disgusting. Most likely to go to the moon. Three, two, one. Yes. Yeah, Alex loves uh, space and sci-fi, don't you? Also, I have the physical endurance and mental intelligence to become an astronaut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely to hold a grudge. Oh. I don't think either of us hold grudges. Uh, okay then. What grudges do I hold? I'm the sort of person who never holds a grudge. I'm like known for that. Uh, but wouldn't no, you agree? Really hold grudges, Neither you, of us um, hold grudges. But you bring things up from the past. Yeah. Like seven years ago. Like, <laughs> remember when you did this? <laughs> That's not holding a grudge. We don't hold grudges. Neither of us are personality types that hold grudges. I don't know why, but um, I have like friends and family who do hold grudges, but I'm not one of those people. I'm much more a forgive and forget person naturally. Yeah. Well, we can get in an argument and I'll have forgotten what it was about. Yeah, same. An hour later. I'll like be mad and then an hour later come in running and being happy. And like, oh my gosh, have you seen this? And then be like, oh, I'm supposed to be mad at you. Is it my one? Oh yeah. I've been reading them all. Most likely to migrate to another country. Oh, okay. I know the answer to this. Do you? Yeah. No. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, you would never do that. He's very, um, Alex is super nostalgic and likes home. I do too. I like, I'm like, I feel like sometimes my star sign does not apply to my personality type. I know it doesn't, like he rolls his eyes. I like, like, Horus, I like, like, I like horoscopes and stuff, but I, so I'm an Aquarius, but sometimes I think I'm a bit of a Gemini because I, I have mm. like two different, Parts that actually, that makes sense when I think about it. Because, are you joking? No. Because I have like two sides to me where I'm a homebody and I really enjoy being at home, being calm, being cosy, but I also love being spontaneous, adventurous, getting out there. And when I'm doing one, I crave the other. So um, like when we went traveling, all I wanted to do at the end of it was go home. And I know in a few yeah. months time from now, I'm probably gonna really crave going traveling. I'm already thinking about where I'm gonna go traveling next year. And I'd love to live abroad one, for like for like a year or two or something, one day. But Alex, it's hard to say. Me. Like when we were in Canada, I was like, you know, I'm loving Canada, but also I just want to be home. I just want to. Mm. You want to have 
familiarity. So yeah. maybe if you lived in a country for years and years, you'd grow to find. I think familiar. you'd have to. We'd have to find somewhere that had more familiarity. That it was an in between, rather than like moving going to like Asia. Mm, similar culture. But when we were living in, because we lived in Thailand for like a month, uh, for like five weeks. So I got really settled there. Whereas when we were moving around, that's when I got a bit uncomfortable and wanted to come home. Yeah, I think that was the mistake we made. Yeah. It was but Alex, I can't imagine you ever wanting to like live somewhere abroad no, or migrate. I'd like to go on long holidays or yeah. buy a house abroad if I was ever that lucky. That would be all right. Some of these are horrible. This one, most likely to pee their pants in a tense moment. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I haven't actually peed my pants around you. Oh, I have maybe once when I was drunk. Oh, okay. Have I? I know, I was just joking. Just because you have difficulty holding your pee in and like... I've never peed my pants around Alex. I think... Me no, I haven't. That's my friends who've done that. I don't think I've ever peed my pants no. as an adult. I but I know it's quite common. I would remember if you'd done that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I've just had a few friends who will remain nameless who have peed their pants when they've had too much to drink and they've passed out. <laughs> you know who it is. I do need the, need the loo a lot though, and Alex always tries to stop me from going to the toilet if we're on a car journey. He'll like carry on driving and won't let me pull over. Oh, I've got a good one. Most likely to punch a wall. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you want to tell a story of the time you punched the wall? <laughs> I didn't actually yeah. punch a wall. He says this, but I'm not convinced. I have a friend who punched a wall. Oh. But I we actually have a lot of friends this. who've done these sorts of things. Yeah, I didn't actually punch a wall because I remember what happened. And I remember I was drunk. What I did was, because I went back to my flat at university and my flat was such a tip, I tripped over some shoes I'd left on my floor and put my hand out to stop myself on the wall and it hit that side, you know, like the door frame has that sharp bit. Mm. And oh, I yeah. cut myself on that. And for some reason it was like the knuckle, it just wouldn't stop bleeding. And I had an exam the next morning. So I went into this exam with- Didn't you wake up with blood everywhere? I had blood on my sheets. Because you just like fell asleep. I don't think you probably realized. No, I wrapped it up. I think it soaked through the oh, wrapping. God. So I went to the exam with toilet paper wrapped around my head. Oh dear. That's not my... I like to tease him that he punched a wall. Uh, it's not my greatest moment, but I didn't punch a wall. <laughs> Most likely to talk to animals. Hello. Are we Ooh. boring you? <laughs> the sun's setting, it's time for bed. Three, two, one. Yep. I always talk to animals. Although, I saw a fox yesterday. Where? He's in the video I've just uploaded. Oh. Um, he was by the Tesco. I think he was looking for food. He was so relaxed, he just walked down into the street, like... I love foxes. He wasn't scared by anyone. Um, <clears throat> and then I talked to him. <laughs> yeah, I have always had pets, dogs and cats and chickens and ducks and stuff, so I treat my pets like they're a member of my family and I'll happily talk to them all the time. Most likely to throw a snowball at someone. It's the only Christmassy one I can right. find. Three, two, one. There's a video clip that Alex can insert here of him throwing a snowball at me and my sister. And there is a clip of you throwing one at me. So... Yeah, but you threw one that was gigantic equals, and it literally hurt so much it felt like I'd been punched in the back. Equals peoples. I, I threw like a tiny little... Yeah. What would you just say? Equals peoples. Equals peoples. Most likely to win an Olympic medal. Three, two, one. What would you win it in? I would win it in... It's good that we have confidence in ourselves. I think it would be in darts. When darts is made an Olympic darts. sport. That is, it's not an Olympic sport. It will be made an Olympic right, sport. Right, okay. One that's already an Olympic oh. sport. If it was to be a sport that I would be best at, it's probably running. Because I'm tall and uh, I used yes. to do... That, the running medal. Is the, there not running? The, the running gold medal. Alex! I mean like, like 400 metres or something, like sprints. Or like 200 metres. Because that's what I did in school and I was not really good at it. Meters. I think my favourite was 200 metres. Okay. Um, because I was good at it and I used to win you're and I'm tall. A, you're more of a Usain Bolt. I'm just good at sprinting. I'm good at running. I think the reason I chose myself is because I'm super determined. Alex is very, like, chill. So I think you'd, you'd never have, like, you wouldn't have the desire to go, that, go for that. I was good at high jump, though. Right, so let's think of Christmas ones. Most likely to get upset with a gift they've been given. I don't know why I've done that, I've just put myself in it. Yeah, yeah. Right. 
Three, two, one. This happened a few years ago. Alex got me a perfume and this was back in my uni days. Oh yeah, that And I was being a massive yeah. brat. I think I was on my period, it was before my period or something. And yeah. Alex got me this perfume, it was from like DKNY. And I'd been hinting to him for like years that I wanted a Chanel perfume or a Miss Dior perfume, I can't remember which. And then he got me a D DKNY perfume and I didn't have any perfumes. And I was like, why did you get me this perfume? I really wanted this one. And I got really upset with you about it at the time. Mm. And then afterwards I felt really bad. Cause like, he got me a perfume for being really kind, obviously. You thought I would just got the cheapest one I could find. Yeah, and I got, I, I read into it being yeah. super oversensitive and thought he doesn't know me. I started analyzing it being like, he doesn't know me at all. He doesn't even know me as a person. Like he doesn't listen. <laughs> I'm sure some of you can relate. I started to really overthink. It's like when a, a boyfriend or girlfriend will get you something and you, you think it's so not me. Mm. The smell wasn't me. And I was just like, you don't know me. So you didn't like the smell? No. Oh. Didn't like the smell, didn't like the packaging. And I just thought this is the cheapest perfume. You picked it up as a last resort. And I it judged was. it wrong. And it wasn't the case at all. And I was being a massive brat and I apologized for it. It was super cheap. But right, can you do a Christmassy one? Most likely to win at Monopoly. <laughs> Okay, three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Alex. I you were gonna say you. I would give up, I could never be bothered. Oh, that's true, you resign. Uh -huh. I used to be really competitive, and as I've got older, I my competitiveness has kind of dimmed down, and um, Alex gets really into it, so does my sister, so it's really funny, and I think we definitely need to play Monopoly this year. Oh, my yeah. mum bought Disney Monopoly. No, Disney Trivial Pursuit. So we're definitely <laughs> gonna win that. Oh. Because Trivial Pursuit is normally yeah. aimed at older generations, That's so it's really impossible to play as a younger trivial person. Trivial Pursuit's the one your mum always wants us to get out yeah. and play. And then it's like all the answers, we don't know because they're not to do with our generation like, at all. Who wrote the 1966 hit song? Like. Yeah. And um, so my mum got a Disney one, which we're just going to hands down win. Most likely to spend the most money on Christmas presents. More money equals more thoughtfulness. Alex gets carried away with Christmas presents. Gift guy buying. He's you have. When did you first start buy? When did you buy your first Christmas present this year? October. <laughs> this is what he's like. It's I not. Think. It's not very usual, you know. For I mean, I don't want to gender stereotype, but usually guys are um yeah. are a bit more lazy you know with when, Christmas buying. When I have an it's idea really for a gift, I write it down because so I know cute. by the time December comes, I'll have forgotten. What I it love is. it. It's so cute. You're and always when, thinking of buying people gifts. When something really sweet. When like a good deal comes up, I'm like, okay, I'll buy it now. Mm. Then. Um, and then just hide it. Because we had the conversation, we were like, oh, which Christmas, when should we go Christmas shopping? Which gifts should we buy? And you were like, well, I've already got this, I've already got that. I'm like, why? You've yeah. already got so many presents. I haven't got anything. Yeah. I'm the sort of, I think I'm a bit like my mum. She's the sort of person who will go on like Boxing Day to the shop to get all the Christmas stuff that's been reduced. Next year. Like she would go and get like a beauty advent calendar to give to someone. That, like it was 25 pounds originally, now it's four pounds. Mm. But in 11 months time, it's gonna be 25 pounds again. So yeah. she just like buys them all and stores them all. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is really depressing. We're not gonna answer this because it's, who is most likely to receive nothing for their Christmas this year? Oh. Okay, who's most likely to sing along to every Christmas carol? <sighs> Three, two, one. I love singing. I sing all day long every day and Alex hates it. This face should do. <laughs> but I'm a really good singer. I wish I'd been, like, if I'd been vlogging properly today, I would have recorded you singing... Uh, Ariana Grande. La um, no, you were singing Last Christmas, you had your noise No, it's out. Ariana Grande's cover of oh, it. it. Oh, that's what Because she has an way. album called Christmas and Chill, and it's the best thing ever. Because okay. you were putting on a really weird... Yeah, because I... And I thought, that's not how Wham sings. No, it's Ariana Grande's version. Right, we need to wind this down, because it's me too long. Okay, who's the most likely... Is this the last one? One more after this. Okay. Who's the most likely to be removed from Santa's list because they were naughty? Three, two, one. <laughs> no! Abuse. <laughs> that was my naughty thing. Exactly. No, Alex is always naughty. You see it in the vlogs how naughty he is. I think we all know the answer to that. Can you please vote up here who is the most likely to be removed from the Santa's list because he's naughty? That should be interesting. Because <laughs> he or she is naughty. I think that we need to have the deciding vote here. I think we all know the answer. Okay, the person who loses the vote gets no presents this year. <laughs> you <laughs> you dug something. <laughs> Last one. Last one. Last one. Last one. Who is the most likely to go to a tropical island 
or a beach during the holiday season. Right, three, two, one. Well, I wasn't ready. Oh, three. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I thought about it. I'd love to do that one, yeah. That would be fun. You're more that way inclined. Mm. I think my mum's that way inclined as well. Mm. I think last Christmas she wanted to go to the Canary Islands. Yeah. Because it would be hot. I think one year, just because sometimes Christmas can be stressful. It's like, what's the, what's the movie we watched? Christmas with the, the cranks. cranks. Yeah. That's what they do in that movie. And I can see why they, you know, why it's appealing. Because yeah. sometimes Christmas is a bit much with all the presents, how much money you spend, with like, just the pressure and like, there's a lot that happens. Especially since I've been a minimalist and a vegan, Christmas is a little bit trickier. I can see that why that would appeal to parents as well. Yeah, so like it would, I think one year, I'd love everything. to do that. Maybe when we had kids, um, to just go away for know. Christmas. I like the cold. I know I complain about the cold a lot, but I kind of like it. I feel like it wouldn't be right. It's like we missed the yeah. whole UK summer by being abroad. Yeah. And even though we were in a hotter country, it didn't feel right. Like it was strange. So yeah. I don't know. No, I'd, li I'd like to do it. I feel like it would be fun. But I said that, I would like to go to Australia. I'd like to go to like Hawaii or, or something, just get away from everything yeah. completely and just not have Christmas. I'll go and watch fun. The Ashes in Australia, that'd be fun. Right, okay, I think that we'll round this up. I don't yep. know how long this video was. Too long. Um, but let us know if you have any, uh, any other requests because there might be a few days that we're not together before Christmas that might, we might... <laughs> yes. Because Alex is coming down to Cornwall on Boxing Day, so we're not actually spending Christmas Day together. And and a few days before that, I'm leaving on the Saturday, so we might pre-record a couple challenges and stuff to fill the I days mean, out. The day you leave will be the last day of. No, I know, but I'm just saying there might be some days we've got oh, that's stuff true, going on. Be busy. We'll be with family and this. Yeah, it's yeah, Christmas. I'll do that. So let us know any like good tags that you'd like to see. Maybe the boyfriend tag. And are there any Christmas uh, challenges? Yeah. We're definitely going to do a mince pie recipe tomorrow. Yes. And um, yes. we might do another. Well, maybe we should do a Christmas recipe challenge or something like. Make some cookies and see who makes the oh, best like, ones. Oh, uh, like Master Chef. Yeah. Yeah. Or like muffins, or. And then we'll take them around town, asking people to vote on which. Is the... Yeah. Okay. Well, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Yeah, and subscribe. And if you didn't, don't subscribe. <laughs> if you didn't, what? Enjoy it. And leave a comment telling us. I don't How know. How much you hated it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.